old were you when you lost? 12, I think. <laughs> What's going on guys, Shaq Clips here once again, and today we see some crazy clips of the worst dates I can find. Now like always guys, my favorite clip will be at the end, but in this first one, it is easily the worst clip I have ever seen. This woman decides to use up this man during his date. Y'all have to try out this new restaurant in Atlanta, Georgia. Him on Kurt. Gold Steaks. One of their signature drinks. Thank you so much. It comes with a popsicle that's made of the same liquor that's in the drink. Freshly squeezed lemon on our Alaskan king crab. Okay, show me what you got here. Here is. 24 karat A5 plus Japanese wagyu steak cooked medium rare. <laughs> so Bay Hu. <laughs> on God, that was the best steak I've ever had. Giant ice cream sundae served in a giant martini glass. Oh, and dessert comes with sparkles. They even put two Snickers in that bitch and three flavors of ice cream. Make his pockets hurt. Everything was a- Now I'm not sure what kind of simp this man really is. She even admitted that she's just trying to use this man up. While this man was left hungry and was pretty much fed absolutely nothing because he's trying to pay for her. I'm not sure how some men really worship women like this. When it's completely easy to understand that this woman's just using you. What they're saying is good enough should be good enough. But let me tell you one thing. Good enough was never good enough for me. <laughs> I live my life on 10 with everything that I do. I'm not going to look at something that's good and think that it's husband because here, here, here's what it is. Good enough is right here. This is a good boyfriend. This is a husband. My okay. goodness. In the video she had made, she had said um, the guy that she broke up with was good and he even raised her standards. Listen, it's either you're good or you're bad. You could walk on water, bro. And it still won't be enough. Now this is exactly why I tell other men never date a woman with a past. Because the more guys they end up dating and talking to, the more their standards get increased. So the less guys in their past, the better it is for you. Otherwise, she's just trying to compare it to other people. And clearly that's all this one was doing. You've had so. five. I have. That's it's kind of the best of both well, worlds. Welcome to California. Five. I'm just wondering if this is like the new thing that freshmen do. That's why, that's more my, I'm not judging. I'm curious because I'm like, is this no. what freshmen do now? They just, no. that's the cool I don't thing. think a lot of people no, have been... subs. I think it's, it's just kind of personal okay. to me okay. because I just, I it's didn't just know. more. It's more fun. You gotta have more fun. It's more fantasized, I feel. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. People around our age. I would say. Yeah, let's just choose short-term fun and instant pleasure, the long-term gratification. Imagine what your husband's gonna think of you after this. And imagine your kids after they know that their mother did this. No one's gonna be proud about it. And that's if she ever gets married or even has kids. Have you slept with anyone who you've been on a date with yet? No. So why am I here then? Well, what do you mean? Yeah, that might change after this date. I mean, you've been on like 40. It's like a one in 40 right now. How old are you? Old enough. Mm. A bit too old, maybe. What, like 35? No, how old are you? 20. Yeah, I'm definitely a bit too old for you. You look all right for your age. Thank you. <laughs> Why is this with men thinking like any woman past 25 is old? It's just washed perm, innit? No, what do you mean washed perm? Like how many men have ran through a 25 year old? Not that many. Washed perm. How is this man gonna complain that she's ran through, but also be disappointed that she's not gonna let him hit in the first date? Now, I'm not defending her or anything, but I mean, this guy's just kind of contradicting himself in my opinion. What's your body count like? I'm at like 70. 70? But how many are on cam versus off cam? Only two on cam. Oh. Or three. Oh, oh, oh. I have a hard time saying no. So like, I meet a guy, my mind is like, I don't really want to go home with you, but he's like, come on, let's go to my house. Okay. 68, 69, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but then you get him home and his balls smell like onions. <laughs> We call him onion balls. He was hot. You would think he would smell amazing. What does it taste like? Onions. You taste what you smell. The whole room tasted it. Yeah, how about next time you're just not easy and you actually say no? Like this was completely avoidable. You did not have to do this. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm just too busy. I'm so happy. Are you, are you a baby? I'm a man. No, I am a man. Let me feel you. <laughs> okay. Tastes good. Huh? I know it's hot. Why are you so happy? Huh? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> My 
flushing? Yes, I am. Now this is exactly why there's such a thing called passport bros and exactly why men are actually leaving the country to find women just like this. A man would much rather have this become his wife than a woman in America. Because I always say women in America know how to use men while women in other countries understand how to take care of a man. And this is literally proof enough. You rate her on a scale of 1 to 10. Come on. So I give you 9. Ew, I'm not enough. I need an 11. Okay, bye. Next. You're not happy with 9? No. 11. Nine. Say nine, 11 right now. Nine, eight. 11 out of 10. No, I give you all the points. Okay, so I'm just asking. 9 is, uh, you know. 9 is just a basic bitch on the road. No, 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 no. Don't, no, say, don't say bitch should be 9, man. Nine. No, I'm not satisfied. Okay, I need a 10 at least. Okay, so I'm just asking. Okay, bitch, you're not satisfied. 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 Okay, bitch, you're not Twelve, I think. <laughs> and what happened? I think I was in the back of a van. I don't know. Was I don't. It a white one? And yeah. Did he give you candy first? I don't remember, honestly. Oh, I was twelve. <laughs> You're a victim. Someone needs to be held accountable, either her parents or the other guys that were involved, because this is just absolutely ridiculous. At twelve. Hey, I, I ain't fresh. I ain't fresh. You're not fresh. No. No, sir. You gotta take your L, bro. Sometimes. This generation is so lost because, first of all, he got that shit on. Y'all just confused because he is dressing his age. And, like, he a, he a real OG. He got the crease in his pants. I know, I know he got a cologne collection. Yeah, the only people these women are exposing is themselves. The fact that they're so brainwashed and delusional to think that a man needs to be dressed up in like Gucci or have some expensive clothes on in order for them to date him is absolutely stupid and their standards make no sense. I feel Asian man. Honestly, older than me. So I'm 25, but no older than 35. So 25 to 35? 26. All I right. already dated a younger man. I won't do it again. Ideal race? Over six feet. Beefy. Race, race. I'm getting there. Oh, sorry. I'm just giving you more details. Okay, okay, okay. Beefy black men. All right, and then you said six foot? Yeah. Minimum income. I mean, I would love a man with six figures, so yeah. The probability of you finding your ideal man is a point zero six nine percent What's your ideal age in a man? The older, the better. Got a range? 26 to 31. How old are you? I'm 24. Me too. All right, ideal race? Uh, 24. <laughs> ideal race? White. Minimum height? Your height or taller. Wait, does that mean you want my number? Let's go through the rest of the questions. All right, minimum income? 80. And the probability of you finding your ideal man there's a 2.2% chance. That's why I'm single. I'm kind of confused. She had one kind of standard. However, she was flirting with this guy. So I guess she's open to other things and shows that she's not just focused on black guys. Hey guys, welcome to uh, How to Be a Wife by Mina. Step one, never stay at home. Guys love girls who go out clubbing and get drinks and get really drunk and come home like three days later. That is wifey material. Two, don't cook, don't clean, be messy, literally just be a pig. Guys love girls who don't clean. It's really attractive. It it makes them hard. Three, don't text them back. Never, literally ever, make them chase you. Thank you. Now the crazy part about this clip is there are actually some women out there that will take this advice seriously and will actually implement it thinking it's gonna work out. The only thing you're doing is keeping yourself single because this is horrible advice. Baby. <laughs> I think there's a difference between can I be your boyfriend and will you be my girlfriend? Because yes, you can be my boyfriend, but I will not be your girlfriend. <laughs> If a woman cares about the semantics to this extent, where it matters how you phrase certain things, you probably should not be dating her in the first place. I've decided to move into another direction. That's how you feel, I gotta respect it. And that's how you have to say, if that's how I feel, I'm gonna respect I mean, it. What do you, you seem like you said your one-liner. Like that. If that's all you have to say, should, let's hug like and let's like, just let it go. We'll have a rebuttal. You seem like I'm you've already it. made your decision. I wanted you to say something, I'm and you're not saying it. It's not time to listen. It's time to talk. 
You didn't even fight for a sec. Another guy did the absolute right thing during this day, and that's just put his foot down and understand that if he's not wanted, then he should have some self-respect and leave. Some girls will use these kind of mind games and tactics to see if a man really likes them, but men in this generation are just too sick and tired of dealing with women like that, and we'd rather avoid these kind of women in general. Let me know what you guys would do in the comments, and that does drop it for you guys so much watching. If you guys do more content just like this, please click links to you guys to the top of the screen. It does so much and all a lot, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.